24 hours is what we have to get our sh together. I need to show you like just the current state of my life right now. Ugh, it's, it's not good, it's not good. So today I am starting a little micro challenge, getting my life together in 24 hours. So the reason I'm doing this challenge, the reason I need this challenge so badly is because I feel like the world's biggest procrastinator. I've always kind of been this way. I'm very driven by deadlines and I also just tend to put off certain tasks and then what happens is they grow bigger and bigger and bigger and they weigh on my shoulders and they keep me up at night and I still don't get them done. As we all know, it's a new year and we love to have that fresh start feeling in the year, but unfortunately for me, and maybe for you too, maybe you're doing the same thing, I have carried over certain unfinished tasks, unfinished business into the new year. We are now like three weeks into January, three weeks into 2024, and I'm still out here putting these things off. So I told myself, Zoe, you're gonna give yourself a challenge, you're gonna give yourself 24 hours to finally, finally get these things done, get them off your chest, get them off your shoulders, get them off your plate, so that I can really feel ready to move just forward into 2024. I feel like I'm the type of person who always prioritizes those tasks that move me forward, that make me feel good in the moment, and a lot of like admin, tax stuff, or any work things that don't have a kind of deadline, or even just things around the house or even like self-care things that don't necessarily feel like top priority, I just put them off. I put them off and I don't do them. So in today's video, we are going to be tackling these things. We are going to have 24 hours to get our lives together. And my hope is that at this time tomorrow, I'm gonna to be feeling a lot better, gonna be feeling totally ready for the new year. So if you're in this with me, if you wanna do it along with me, comment down below, comment I'm in, and let's get into it. I know we can do it. Okay, so it is 101 right now. I still haven't changed my vision board. I have to update that. We should add that to the list. So this challenge will end tomorrow at 1 p.m. We are going to be super productive for the next 24 hours. We are going to try and get some good sleep. We are going to take care of ourselves. It's just gonna be a great productive day. 24 hour day. And speaking of super productive, let me introduce you to our video sponsor for today, Magical. Thank you Magical for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to be partnering with Magical because they are basically my new virtual assistant. Magical uses AI to help automate boring and repetitive tasks. The best part is that it is completely free and Magical can help you save up to seven hours a week by automating those monotonous tasks. As you guys may know, I am no longer working with a YouTube manager, which means I am back in charge of my emails. And let me tell you, I am the worst at keeping up with my emails because I just get so bored and so frustrated typing the same thing over and over again. So when I discovered Magical, I was thrilled. I was able to create templates on Magical to help me reply to some of my most common emails. Let's take a look. So I created a template to accept a sponsored video. Let's say like a dream brand reaches out to me. I'm like, yes, definitely want to work together. Magical is a browser extension. And once you download it, you see there is this little button on the side. You can open it up and see all of your templates, or you can click forward slash forward slash, which will activate Magical. And from there, you can see the drop down list of your templates. So this template says, thank you so much for reaching out. All I have to do is fill in the prompts. So the person's name, the company name, my rate is already in there and I press send. I've also created a template to reject a gifted partnership. So let's say this brand reaches out, they want me to do a dedicated video in exchange for $15 worth of product. I'm like, e, thanks, but no thanks. I can press that forward slash forward slash or what I can do is if I remember the name of my queue, I can press semicolon, insert my trigger and my email pops up. Once again, I just have to fill in the blanks and press send. Let me show you how easy it is to create a template. So let's make one together to accept a PR package. I click open into my sidebar. I press create new template. I write down what I want my email to say and I'm leaving the address blank because I already have a magical shortcut for my address. So once that's done, I just input it into the email. Then I put in my trigger for my address and I press send. 
It's so easy to create these templates. It's not like you're gonna have to spend a bunch of time getting them set up. They also have this insane feature called AI Reply, which you can use on a bunch of sites, including LinkedIn, email, Facebook, WhatsApp, even Bumble. Basically, three buttons pop up. You click on the relevant one and it crafts a perfect answer for you using AI. So let's take a look. Let's say I got invited to this birthday party at the Cheesecake Factory. You know I wanna go, so I'm pressing yes. And in a second, I have the perfect reply. If we wanted to reject because the party is on Hollywood Boulevard and I live in Montreal, I can press no and it will perfectly craft me a negative reply. If I press custom, I can add a little bit more tone to my email so I could write that I wish I could go, but I can't. And once again, it crafts the perfect email. So if you wanna start saving time and stop putting off those boring tasks, you need to try out Magical. You you can sign up by going to getmagical.com or clicking the link down below. You guys, it's 100% free and it will make your life better because you get to stop procrastinating and start spending more time on the tasks that matter to you. So thank you so much to Magical for sponsoring today's video. Such a thrill to work with such a cool company. So yes, thank you so much to Magical for sponsoring this video. Now I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod. I wanna give you a little office tour because I need to show you like, just the current state of my life right now. Ugh, it's not good, it's not good. And for those of you who are with me on this keep the office, don't keep the office, roller coaster of emotions, I'm currently in phase keep the office. Anyways, you guys, 2024 so far has been a little bit messy for me. And speaking of messy, this is like the current state of the office. So this is my current desk. Today should be the last day that we actually work from this desk because I got a new standing desk. We put this together over the weekend. This is going to be my new desk. I'm gonna sell the old one. I definitely think I'm gonna miss this desk. I love how big it is, but I don't know. It's just a little bit clunky. And this was my desk like throughout working in consulting and all throughout COVID. So I'm kind of just ready for a change. And it's very, very different because we're going from this big brown desk to like this nice light modern white standing desk. I think the standing desk too is gonna to be really good for my posture because I have such bad posture. So the goal is going to be to finish up all of the major tasks that I've been putting off today. And then tomorrow we get to have some fun and like set up the new desk kind of as a reward. And then, you know, this, nothing has changed over here. And then of course this couch too, nothing has changed, but it is definitely messy. I would really need to vacuum the couch because Maggie like comes and sleeps on here and it's like so dirty. This couch and table, once I get rid of um, the old desk, this is gonna be the last remnants of my old apartment. And this couch was given to me by my aunt actually. It was like in her cottage. So it's not something I'm ready to part with just yet. So that's kind of what we're working with. Not super organized, not super clean. Normally what I would do is cleaning is a task that kind of makes me feel good. So I'd be like, oh, before I can get productive, I'm gonna clean. But what ends up happening then is I spend all of my time cleaning and I use cleaning as an excuse to further procrastinate on those real nitty gritty tasks that I wanna avoid. So that's why we're not setting up the desk yet. We're gonna keep with the old desk. That's why we're not cleaning up yet because I have this thing I gotta do. My New Year's vlogs, I mentioned to you guys I had made this thing that I was calling like a kill list. And it was a bunch of stuff that initially I wanted to get done before 2023. Then I wanted to get them done like within the first week of 2023. And why do I keep saying 2023? I wanted to get them done before New Year's 2024. Then I wanted to get them done like in the first week of 2024. And now here we are week three of 2024. And I'm like, I can't let these pile up anymore. There are two major things. The first is this task that I have been putting off for a year. It's basically to redesign this form. And the person asked me to do it kind of like as a favor to them. I said yes. And then we never put a deadline on it. And we never like, it was never that strict. So for a year, I just haven't done it. And this paper, I don't know where I put it actually. But for the longest time, I had this paper sitting on my desk like as a reminder to do it for months and months and months. And 
I just never made the time to do it. Because I'm a freelancer, I feel like something that I struggle with is learning to prioritize things that aren't gonna get me paid. Because if any of you guys are freelancers out there, you know that if you don't work, you don't get paid. So it's very, very easy to constantly prioritize the new things that are coming in, the things with you know the ASAP deadlines, and of course the things that are gonna get you paid because that's how you pay your bills. But sometimes those admin tasks and maybe a favor you promised someone, things that aren't gonna get you paid and things that aren't necessarily going to move you forward in the ways that you're thinking of moving forward, they're also just as important because you still made a commitment to do them or you have to do them and then they're just piling up behind you and turning into this bigger snowball than they ever needed to be. So that, for me, that form is one of them. The other thing, thing number two, is wrapping up all of my 2023 accounting inputs. So any money that I made or any money that I spent that counts as a business expense, getting all of that input into my QuickBooks because last year around tax time in March, I like freaked out, I was super late, missed the deadline and spent full days trying to recap everything from 2022. So this year I don't wanna to have to do that. I wanna be more ready when it comes to tax time. I want these things to feel like less of a big deal to me and just live like a more smooth, anxiety-free life. So that's what we're working on. I grab some blank paper whenever I'm having like a major productive day, get your shit together, get your life together day. I love to start with a blank paper instead of my usual planner so that I can do like a huge brain dump and kind of make a wish list of all the things that I'd like to get done. From the wish list, I can go and put stars on things that have to get done and really assign priority. So let's start with that. And then we're gonna get into that form because it's getting done today. <laughs> Okay, we're 17 minutes into the challenge. My list has been made. I'm sure as I keep going, I'm gonna be able to add more things to this list. That's also why I love just like a big blank sheet. But anyways, I am going to stop talking and get started on my number one priority, which is that form. Okay, sometimes you've just got to pick between productivity and like healthiness, maybe. Um, these are the snacks that I have currently in my office and it was either this or I go take a long walk and get a snack or I Uber eat something and I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I think I'm not Uber eating in 2024. I feel like it's just too expensive for nothing. So we have chocolate covered Ritz fudge crackers. These were an impulse buy and they were so good. So good. We have a Kit Kat bar. And <laughs> we have like gummy candies. Now, these are all the kind of things that taste good in the moment, make you feel worse after, but I'm hungry. So here we are. How does this sound in the microphone? It's probably so disgusting. I'm gonna have to edit it all out. <laughs> these were stocking stuffers that my mom gave me. And I just brought them all to the office and I was like, I'm gonna keep a secret sugar stash at the office for when I'm like needing to motivate myself. Like I literally bribe myself to do things with food. So <laughs> anyways, we're still working on that form, but it's going well. I'm about a quarter of the way done. So we're making progress. Let me show you this cookie. It's, oh my God. It's literally cheesy Ritz crackers covered in fudge. Like what? So good. 
me again. So a really bad habit that I have is stopping when I'm really close to being finished something. So I'm really close to being done these forms. Time check is that it's 2.30. So this is taking me such a small amount of time when you compare to how long I've been putting this off. But a really, really bad habit of mine is that as soon as I'm almost done, like let's say I'm three quarters of the way done, I stop and take a break. Cause I'm like, yeah, I'm almost done. And I feel like I, des I deserve to celebrate being almost done, but 100% you should wait until you're actually finished to take a break unless it's like you know a really really long thing but like I've been working for an hour and a half like just threw my papers everywhere and of course my break is not even an actually like restful or good type of break I just sit here at my desk in the exact same position and scroll on Instagram and sometimes I think this is a self-sabotage thing but sometimes in my break, I'll start looking at other things. And then like, let's say you see something on social media, it triggers something in your brain that you're like, oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. I should do this. I should go buy that. Um, I got to run this errand. Oh, look at this person's house. It's so clean. Like I was watching a little reel of someone setting up their new vanity and it made me be like, hmm, I wish I had a vanity. And then my mind starts spiraling because my mind is in work mode. And because right now I'm really in like productive mode, when I look on social media, I start to feel like I need to take action on the things that I'm seeing. Like I literally just sat there and started, I saw something that triggered me to think about TikTok. And then as for me, as a content creator, I started thinking like, oh, maybe I need to start posting on TikTok again. And then spiraling down this hole of like, you know, if I had more time, if I didn't have as much copywriting work, then I could do TikTok. And like, what? Like, I'm supposed to be finishing an old task right now, not thinking about my career as a TikToker, like, that is not the point. So I caught myself in all of this procrastination and then spiraling and I was like, I'm gonna turn the camera on and tell you guys because I'm sure I'm not alone in that habit. So we've identified it, we're gonna put it away and actually what I need to do is I should have done this from the beginning is turn on my anti-procrastination app. I'm gonna set it to 35 minutes because I think I can finish this task in 35 minutes. I just use this app Forest. I think it's like $2 in the app store. And it basically prevents you from using your phone for the amount of time that you set on the timer. So I'm not gonna be mad at myself for the spiral I just sent myself in. I'm just gonna dive right back in to work. So that form is done one year in the making. That is just so embarrassing, but it's finally done. So one of my yellow coated top priorities. The next thing I need to do, this is also really long overdue. I have some receipts that I need to input business receipts. Um, I have a bunch of US stuff that I need to cross check with my credit card because the receipts are in US dollars and I need to input it in Canadian. And then I also have to input my earnings into, I'll just specify, into QuickBooks. So since I'm on a roll, let's just keep going. Time check is that it's 3 p.m. Also, the best part of doing receipts is that I can listen to a podcast while I do it. And lately, I've really been enjoying the Every Outfit podcast, specifically their Sex in the City like rewatches. I'm a huge sex in the city fan so this is just really really fun kind of mindless and like i don't know it's like nostalgic if you are a sex in the city fan you've got to check it out and then in this envelope are all of my american receipts let's get to work it's nighttime now <laughs> time check is that it is five o'clock I just did some really, really good multitasking. So I finished inputting my earnings into QuickBooks. And while I was doing that, I just rewatched uh, the Q&A that I have to go live tomorrow. I always rewatch my videos before I put them up just to make sure that I did a good job with the editing. Sometimes I still make mistakes. Like in my January reset, I wrote 2023 instead of 2024. And like that completely went over my head, but <laughs> I always rewatch them. So two important things done. We now have three out of the four top priorities done. I have some more receipts that I saved for tomorrow just because it was like too torturous to do it all today. And we have one out of 
one, two, three, four, five, six. One out of six medium priorities. So we're doing well. I added some more to-dos to the list, but they're not priorities. So now I'm ready to go home and kind of turn off work productive mode and move into like self-care productive mode. After work, I went to the grocery store just to pick up some things for lunch the following days and just kind of some home staples for the kitchen. Maggie greeted me when I got home and JS was working on dinner. Lately, we've been kind of splitting up our tasks. So he does a lot of the cooking and I'll take care of like laundry, tidying up. As you guys can see, we have so much laundry. So I just wanted to kind of tackle it. One of my goals for 2024 is to be a cleaner and tidier person. I feel like it helps so much with my mental clarity when my house is clean. So it's been nice just dividing up the tasks so we can be a little bit more efficient. For dinner, we had spaghetti with homemade meatballs and I'm gonna pause to let JS sing to us a little bit. We're eating cold again, oh so cold yet. Warm my heart with your food. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that really happened. After dinner, Maggie helped me unload the dishwasher. She's such a good, helpful girl. And oh my gosh, she really needs to be groomed. Look at her, you guys. She's so scraggly. Then I went to have a little sauna session. Unfortunately, there were people in there when I got down, so I decided to go in the pool. The water was so cold, I had to stand there for like five minutes, bracing myself to get in. And then I finally did, and I was like, no, the cold is not for me tonight. I was really just in the mood for a warm, relaxing sauna, not a workout or anything like that. It was not what I was feeling that day. While I waited for the sauna to free up, I did a little bit of breath work. I've been trying this three minute breath work and it's just through my Hoop app. It basically just guides you through some relaxation breathing and it's really nice. Then I finally got my turn in the sauna. It was so good. I love to just go in there and read, drink a bunch of water and try to survive for 15 minutes. Afterwards, I took the shower, shaved, washed my hair. It made me feel so good and put together. I put on some body oil, made some sleepy time tea and jumped into bed. This was the perfect self-care evening. Good morning guys. It's like 6 6:40 probably. I went to sleep with wet hair last night and now my hair is like all messed up. So I'm going to try and fix it without heat. I slept like a baby. Like, do you ever have those sleeps where as you're sleeping you're like, "Oh, this is so good." <laughs> That's how I slept last night, which is exactly what we want and need for a get your life together challenge. Like Oh, I'm so happy. I swear like doing the sauna and just having a slow evening, not looking at work at night, like was really, really off my phone. I did the breath work and a meditation last night too. Did a breath work while I was waiting for the sauna to heat up. And then as I was cooling down from the sauna, I did like a four minute meditation. I've been trying, I've been trying a few guided ones off of form, but then I've also just been sitting in silence and using insight timer to like, make a sound, like a nice calming sound when four minutes is up. And obviously like my mind wanders a little bit, but at least I'm, I'm sitting and I'm trying. So all that to say, woke up feeling pretty good this morning. I did hit snooze a couple times though because I was just sleeping so well and I did 
go to bed a bit later than I would have liked. So I was like, nope, snooze, nope, snooze. But with the hatch, because the light stays on, you don't fall into as deep of a sleep when you hit snooze. So you don't get that like jarring reawakening from snooze. You're like still kind of awake and you're just resting, closing your eyes a little bit. I swear, I didn't want to believe the hype. I bought the alarm because I believed the hype, but then it was so expensive that I was like, I don't want to be propagating, you know, $200 alarm clocks. But you guys, it is worth the hype. I think I've had it for a few weeks now, I can actually say it's worth the hype. So you have the Zoe seal of approval to save up and buy a hat because it is that good. And you don't need the subscription. I didn't get the subscription. I find that's kind of annoying. Just a one-time purchase, it has all the features you need. So for my wavy hair girls, when your waves turn frizzy, if you don't wanna like have to curl your hair or straighten it or whatever, what I do is I put my hair into a twist. So not a braid, but a twist. If you have thicker hair, you might wanna do this in like two or three sections. As you can see, this is all the hair that I have. I don't have very much. So I just do one. And I leave this for like maybe an hour or two. And it just kind of helps like reform some waves in my hair. Okay. So this is the get your life together vlog. And recently I filmed my morning routine like super in depth. You guys can see I like almost overflowed my tea, but we're on green tea in the mornings now. So I'm not gonna go through my whole morning routine today just because I wanna save time in this vlog. Here's another thing I do, you guys, is I reuse tea bags as much as possible. <laughs> Cause like, I like to use good tea, you know, like not like the worst, cheapest tea. I like to use the good stuff. So I'm gonna get the most I can for each serving of tea. So this is a Japanese sencha from David's Tea. So anyways, I won't go through my whole morning routine like in great detail in this vlog because you guys either have seen it or will see it very soon. I'm gonna do the step now where I sip my tea with my sun therapy lamp because it's pitch black outside. And I use my weighted blanket in the morning too. It's just such a good way to start out the day. And lately what I've been doing actually is I will layer, I'll put the super like fuzzy warm, sorry, Maggie's chewing her bone. Good morning. I put the fuzzy one and then I layer this and you're like so warm in your little cocoon. It's incredible. Breakfast, my supplements. These are all of my pills and these are like my mushroom tincture concoctions. And this is vitamin D. I'm dressed like a sheep today. <laughs> Just like all super cozy, but it's really, really cold outside. I took like a really extended route to the office today to kind of check off my morning walk habit tried to be really, really patient and walk really slow so that Maggie could just like sniff around, which is supposed to be just as good for the dogs as like running exercise. So I'm trying to be patient. It can be really hard like when the dog wants to stop every three seconds, but you just be patient, let them sniff. And I was listening to my audiobook because I haven't super been loving Audible. I feel like I'm just getting adjusted to it or maybe it's the book that I'm listening to. It's like not I think the topic is really interesting, but I have a hard time staying focused when I'm listening because my tendency when I'm walking is to like, you know, start daydreaming or whatever. So I miss like big chunks of the book. Anyways, <laughs> did that little habit this morning. We're working on it. Now we're here at the office. What the heck are you, what are you doing? Why are your paws on the table? <laughs> what the frick? You're not allowed to do that. What are you doing? Get, okay, get off. Get your paws off. Get off. What are you doing? Okay, I should not be rewarding this. What the heck? Get off the... Go on the couch. Where's your bed? Go on your bed. That's not your bed. Go on your bed. Maggie, your bed. Good job. Good job. All right, so it's almost 10, meaning we have a little over, a little over three hours to complete our challenge. On my to-do list, I have one yellow and 
one, two, three oranges left. We're gonna start with the yellow. If I'm not able to get all of the oranges done, I'll still be really, really happy with this challenge. The thing that's really weird for me is starting my day not with something that's due and not with something that, like I talked about yesterday, is going to bring me forward because I have a YouTube video that I wanna go live today. I haven't made the thumbnail. smaller and flimsier than my old desk because as you guys saw it's massive but I think it's going to be a really good change. I forget if I said this yesterday but I ordered it off Wayfair and it's definitely not the highest quality. I didn't know if I would like a standing desk so I was not about to splurge like $1,500 on a desk so this was about $400 I think and like yeah she's a bit flimsy but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So actually, before I go and put anything on the desk, I want to make sure that everything that I'm bringing over is clean and dusted, like my computer stand, like so dusty inside. I definitely want to get better at like keeping my desk base like clean and dusted because you're sitting there for like hours a day. Shouldn't be breathing in like nasty dust, you know? So I'm going to get this all ready and then we're going to set up the desk. I'm actually so excited. It's been a really long time since I've had a new desk and there's something just like so fresh about that. So get your life together. New desk, life together, yes. <laughs> This is gonna be such an adjustment for me, you guys, because it's literally so small. Like, I'm not used to having everything just so compact like this, but I think having the two screens level, it's gonna be so good for the posture. And it's gonna force me to be more organized. Like, you probably saw on my old desk, like I would just have shit spread out everywhere. And now I have to be like super compact and organized. I think I'm gonna use this drawer for like papers and stuff. And then this one, to hide my filming equipment when I'm not using it. And then we have the stapler. All of my pens will have to go in here. The only thing I don't like is there's like a little bump. So I have to kind of lift to get it out. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. So mini desk tour. This is a little portable humidifier my mom got me for Christmas, which I definitely needs to be on the desk because it's dry in here. And then the Stanley, um, my cotton. I just love that. I think it's so beautiful my computer on its stand and then my monitor. This is the next thing to get upgraded. This monitor sucks. <laughs> I really need a better one. And then, yeah, we have like the wireless keyboard, the trackpad, and this, I should show it to you guys in action. It sounds like a spaceship. So it's coming down and then it goes back up. We have an hour left of our 24 hour challenge. I came home because I was super hungry and I had stuff here that I wanted to make lunch with. Plus last night I was getting so stressed out because I was gone this weekend, meaning we didn't get to do our kind of like Sunday reset weekend cleaning routine. And you guys, my house is just covered in dog hair, like covered. Anyways, last night that was making me feel stressed out, not the vibe and definitely not a getting your life together vibe. So I'm gonna make lunch and then with the hour that we have left, I'm gonna spend it doing some like kind of chores around the house. Jace and I split the chores and we have like our designated tasks. So I'm gonna do mine today and he's gonna do them tonight cause I'm gonna watch the Mean Girls movie, which I'm so excited about. But anyways, I'm gonna stop talking 
put you guys down because I'm so hungry. Let's make some avocado toast. Disappointment. Half of this avocado is disappointment. So there's my little snack. The avocado ended up not being any good. Very, very sad. So we have peanut butter and jam, peanut butter and banana, and then a nice protein green smoothie. I'm definitely gonna need a second lunch later. This is not gonna be enough food, but I was so hungry. So I think I'll feel a lot better after eating this. And with that, you guys, that is a wrap on our 24 hour challenge. I cannot believe how helpful this was. I managed to beat procrastination on things that I have been putting off for weeks, months, even up to a whole year of procrastination. Getting all of that done in 24 hours was definitely exhausting, but so worth it. Not to mention, we managed to squeeze in some excellent self-care and some great sleep. Let me know if you try out this challenge as well as how you liked this video and if we should do it again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Magical, for sponsoring. I love you guys very much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Blow a kiss. Huh? Blow a kiss. To all your haters. Oh!